Fred managed to keep his engine in coal and his own head above water with some big chimney felling jobs. On a Sunday in 1979, he did one at Rochdale, which unforeseeably set him on the road to fame. This is the job, Fred. These two chimneys, uh, they won't drop it. Oh, when you've got rid of yeah. mill, with, uh, there'll be plenty of room to fly. I come the other day and had a loop. Uh, there's, there's an house over there on that corner. Well, if we can keep it away from that, we're, you know, we don't yeah, want to upset so the neighbours. Yeah, go towards you know, the canal, like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we don't block canal up as well, you know. No, we'll make sure we don't. I'm going to try and do them both at the same time or not, you know. Well, do two <laughs> for price of one, then you're all right. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, hmm. Well... 400 foot little one and 500 foot big one. Um, That's the cheapest <laughs> you can do, is it? Like, oh, right, right. Right. <laughs> so, um, it's soon be a millionaire at that, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I could manage them, but block it can help, you know, uh, doing any damage, breaking any windows over there, you know. Uh. My main competition is the, the dynamite men when it comes to felling a chimney, you know. Uh, sort of, they'll come along and you know, blow it up in half a day, so they only need a, a quarter of money I want, so really that's why on television everyone you see going down, it's blown up. Um, you know, there's none of them done with the pit props and the big fire, like, you know, like they did it in 1899, which, um, you know, I like doing it that way because it's more spectacular, you know, and it's, um, you get a bit of a build-up to it. Whereas when you press that plunger, boom, that's it, you know, uh, it's over with, you know, you've not really done so much, you know, you just destroyed something that it took a few men a long time to erect and a lot of hard bloody sweat and labour. And when they finished it off, no doubt, they put the Union Jack up and you've just blown it up with pressing a button. Whereas if you've got a hack your way through three foot of brickwork at the bottom with a few hundred tons squeezing on it, you know, um, you know, it's not died too easy, has it? We shouldn't be here today, really. I've had instances where people have come where I've wanted a couple of hundred pounds, 25 quid, and they've done it, you know, madmen, you know, no pit props, nothing, just chop the bottom out like a tree. Uh, and they don't know to an hour when it's going to go. You know, just keep bashing at it at each side, you know, when it's creaking and groaning, you know, just run out the road, you know, at great speed, like. You know, you don't need anything, only a sledgehammer and, you know, a bit of lunacy, like, and you're in business. When you come on the insurance, man, you know, they'll send some little lad out from their office who's never seen a chimney fall down, and he's got to work it all out, the risks involved, you know. Well, by the time it's gone back to HQ, it could have been Groucho Marx who's knocking the damn thing down, you know, uh, which upsets me a bit, you know, uh, when I think, like, that all the ones I've done that have gone OK, and yet the premiums keep going up and up and up all the time. Well, I've nearly give them up all together now, you know. If there's no tin way, I'll do it, you know, um, and take it on my own back. And good luck to them, men, you know. I mean, they've got big Mark 10 Jags and uh, pinstripe suits. Uh, what have I got, you know? Second down the Army Land Rover, you know, and just about managed to keep that going, like. <laughs> Some years ago, I were doing one, but, you know, when you come home at night, like, you know, I thought, Christ, you know, I hope the bugger goes right, because we've only got 60 feet to get it in wide. 
And I came home and I'm having my tea in the kitchen and it come on the television, uh, here's one that went wrong. I knew it somehow or other. There was someone up somewhere in chimney line and I was running front room just in time to see this factory chimney straight through the middle of the mill, you know. <laughs> just been kitted out for a three shift system, you know. It's still short that mill uh, somewhere in Yorkshire. Chopped the mill in half. Well, then with the dynamite men, you know, um, sort of thing. Uh, well, how do you think I should feel after that when I've got to do this one? They've got a field, get theirs in. Uh, I've got to get it down a 60 foot slot, you know. Well, from that day to the Sunday that we did it, you know, my nervous system weren't too good. <laughs> General sousing over after. Oh, yeah, yeah, want to hear it roar. Fred, are you? What, love? How are you going on? All right, love. How are you? We'll be safe over there, won't we? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. Do you want me to light it like I usually do? <laughs> No, you should light it and then it's he... Real <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes it off me. Oh, you light the fire, you mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's back again, like buggery man, you know. Who do you mean, the, the factory inspector? The Welsh fella. Uh, factory inspector, I don't know. Mm. I mean, everything's beautiful. I'm uh, more of a mind. You yeah. think it's going yeah. to go that way, and the oh, wind's blowing I, that uh, way. The bloody, if fair. it goes backwards, he says, you know, there's yeah. not a bloody three million to one chance. He says to me, "What's in that tank?" I said, yeah. "I don't know." I thought you'd be able to tell me that. Being yeah, a yeah, yeah. I don't, know. I don't bloody know. He asked me as well. He's, he's nervous. Anyway, that having been said, yeah. we will let you know yeah. when we've got all the evacuation mm. done, when yeah. I've got this road sealed. We're sealing mm. it off with yeah, major yeah. incident tape. Yeah, yeah. Look at that white yeah. tape. Oh, yeah. Can we have everybody out, please? And beyond the white tapes. Right in the middle, there. Oh, there. That's it. Right, you can give it me now. Uh, yeah. mm, thank you. Mm.
see it moving, the stick. That stick. I hope the bloody thing goes. It's going. Going. Bang, 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 bang. Do you like that? <laughs> right in the right shop, isn't it? Give the kiss, love. <laughs> You're all right, now. Well done, isn't that? It's a good one, a good one. And you, I had every ounce of confidence in that one. We just got it right.